Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So I am building up your library of beauty tips and hacks and everything that I mention in all of my videos, I like to condense them into easy digestible videos. And this is what this video is today. It's about the biggest beauty blunders women are still making. So are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. beauty blender ladies is pumping your mascara is this not classic this is like the most classic beauty blender so you take your mascara you want more on your wand you go in and you start pumping up thinking you're getting so much on your mascara you're not only pushing air into this tube which could breed bacteria you are drying out your mascara so in one of my videos recently I told you every three months you are to toss your mascara so if you are doing that you are going to shorten the life of your mascara so so no more pumping. If you want to get more product on the wand, stick it into the tube and then twist. Really feel that product inside the tube and on the sides of the wall of this tube and you're going to be able to coat beautifully your wand without putting air into it and without drying out your mascara. My second beauty blender is only applying your lip liner to the outside of your lip line. So instead of just taking your lip liner and just lining your lip, fill in your lip. So this is going to give you a couple different benefits. So you're going to not, when your lip gloss or your lipstick kind of fades throughout the day, you're not gonna just have a, a, a ring around your lip from the lip liner. When you fill in your lip, bringing it down a little bit, it's going to give you staying power. You can even fill in your whole lip with your lip liner, which is going to have your lipstick last longer. So it's almost like you're priming it with a color prior to putting on your lipstick or lip gloss. So next time you go to line your lips, Remember, just don't line the lip, bring it down, shade it in, or do your whole lip for extra staying power. My third beauty blender is using waterproof mascara every single day. Not only is it gonna dry out your lashes, removing waterproof mascara, if you're not using the right products, is going to be harsh on your lashes. You might see lash damage, you might see sparseness with your lashes. So try to switch up using a waterproof mascara with using a regular mascara every other day or every two days, or maybe only using waterproof mascara when you know that you're really going to need it. A nice alternative is if you really see mascara falling down or smearing, you can use waterproof on the bottoms only and use a regular mascara on the tops. My fourth beauty blender is keeping your makeup too long. So I know we love keeping a hold and saying, oh, you know what, it's fine, it's still working. If you hit pan, throw it out, replace it. If you've hit three months with your mascara, throw it out, replace it. I showed you a really great tip on knowing how old your mascara is by putting a little label, a little date on when you open it. So you know if it gets dry before that time, okay, time to toss it out. But if you hit that three month mark, time to toss it and start with a new fresh mascara. So I have a little cheat sheet for you here that's going to show you when you're supposed to toss your makeup. So this kind of gives you a really, I'll put it up on my Facebook also, my Facebook Fresh Beauty Studio page. So you can have a little bit of a go to if you want a refresher but when you're working with powders like blushes and bronzers and shadows you have two years so cream shadow and blushes you have 12 to 18 months working with oil-free foundation you have one year cream compact foundation you have 18 months concealers 12 to 18 months lipstick and lip liner one year what depends too because you use this every day just you really take stock in what your lipstick looks like. Has it changed? Is there anything different about it? So you want to basically see that, but one year is a good rule of thumb. Lip gloss, 18 to 24 months. Your pencil eyeliners, two years. Liquid or gel eyeliner, three months. And mascara, three months. So this is a really great grid, a little bit of a chart for you to have to know when do you toss your makeup. Sometimes it gets very confusing because you think, oh my gosh, this is going to last forever. And then realize this is not a really good thing to keep longer than I should.
My fifth beauty blender, ladies, is so important, is going to sleep with makeup on your face or not removing all traces of makeup when you go to bed. So this is really, really important and you really need to pay attention to this because you're going to see a really big decline in your skin from larger pores, oil, breakouts, dull skin, aging skin. Your skin's not gonna look beautiful if you keep makeup on your skin. I understand we get tired and it's like the last thing you wanna do, but I've always told my clients, as a licensed esthetician, if you do one thing, cleanse your skin. Remove the dirt, oil, sebum, whatever is going on. Even if you don't wear makeup, this is a very important step. You still have to have clean skin. So think about that. So next time you're, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. No, I can't. Get up and make sure you do it. Makeup wipes do not do the job. They, they leave traces of makeup. You're still gonna run into the same problem. So find a really great cleanser that you really love, that's gentle, that really makes your skin feel good. Not over stripped, but leaving makeup on your face when you go to bed, you can never have gorgeous skin. You will never have the skin that you want and your makeup will never go on the way you want it to if you are not cleansing your skin the night before. My sixth beauty blender is not washing your makeup brushes frequently. So that is very important. Bacteria buildup, makeup buildup, your your eyeshadows aren't gonna go on the, the right color if you have dirty makeup brushes. So you really need to be pay attention to that. You can wash them once a week with a very mild, gentle cleanser. You can wash them every other week. You have to pay attention to how much you're using your brushes. They touch your face every day. They have makeup buildup. You don't want bacteria. You do not want to be causing breakouts on your face that don't need to happen because you're using dirty brushes. So remember this, when you look at your brushes, if they are dirty, like this, if they are dirty, after a makeup tutorial that I just did, you wash them, lay them flat to dry. I'll link my video on how to wash your brushes and really have the, the peace of mind that you're using clean brushes and you're not putting bacteria into the skin. You're not using brushes that are going to cause any irritation or problems on your skin. And my seventh beauty blender is applying the wrong concealer color. So you really want to figure out what your objective is with your concealer. You want to obviously conceal darkness, right? So you wanna go one to two shades lighter than your skin tone, but you want it to still match with your foundation. You don't wanna have light, 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 light underneath your eyes and then a different color with your foundation. Everything should seamlessly go together. So that's the good rule of thumb is going to one to two shades lighter. You want to be able to bring up that darkness, you have the darkness underneath the eyes, this is what you're trying to conceal, you wanna bring it up, but you don't want it to be too light where it basically stands out. So you want it to be just one to two shades lighter. Remember, this is kind of like a uh, an experiment of figuring out what is going to be the right shade, the right formulation, but you don't want your concealer to stand out on your face and actually highlight what you're trying to conceal. Those are just seven beauty blenders that I see that are very common that I wanted to call out to help you be able to not pump your mascara and really create that bacteria that we don't want or take off your makeup at night. I know we all know this, but really make an appointment to do and start these really good habits. So these are just to build your library, like I said, ladies, before. I want you to have very easy, concise information right at your fingertips to know, oh, that's right, I don't do that, or here's that little chart that I know when to throw out all of my makeup and really start fresh and really clean. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.